Welcome back, Tuesday Night Pro Scrims with Revan and Benson. We're moving to our fifth map. Benson is going to be Search and Destroy on Meltdown. Complexity, they're in a bit of a hole right now. They're down four maps to zero. Yeah, they really need to just try and get off the mark. They just need, some, they just need, they just need to get the first map. Once they we, get that we were, first map... We were both then. wrong, though. We were both wrong on our Yeah, so we were way I, off. Uh, drastically wrong. Um, you just just slightly wrong, but still, phase. So, so dominant. I mean, again, you know, as we, we said on Social Troy uh, Express, it's one of those maps where you're either going to rush one bomb site, or you're going to take it slow. Meltdown, very, very similar to that, and it's going to be complexity on the attacking side first. It looks like they're going to go for a quick B rush, although they are delaying it a little bit. Maybe they're just, just trying to bait oh, out nice. that phase team. Good EMP from Crim6 takes out two trophy systems. They'll be able to get that grenade off, no problem. Does pick up a hit marker as Spacey gets first blood, but on Meltdown, you could really play kind of slow on offense and try to work those initial picks as Crimson, he's going to be able to find one, even things up here. That's three are alive for both teams, pre around the corner, but the bomb is in the hands of this guy, TP, the ob objective mastermind for Complexity. Well, let's see if he can try and make some plays now. He's just waiting for that EMP to wear off. It has done, and he is going to try and get that bomb down now. Two players for FaZe. Are going to start rotating. It's both Spacely and Slack. They found themselves in quite a nice little position. The nade's going to come in from Slack. Puts that straight over towards Ooh. Turbines. Spacely shuts down TP. Now it's going to be left just to Crimsic and Clay. The Crimsic's getting tagged up. He needs to back off. 35 seconds left. That's all he needs to hold out this bomb site for. Replays on the flank. Cleans up Clay. So you saw it on the mini map. Now it's all up to Crimsic here. Oh. And he's <laughs> quickly dealt with as well. The bomb defuse is going to go to Spacely. Oh, he just shot a body. You see that? It yeah, might have been on accident, but. I didn't think that was by accident. You don't think I so? Think, I, I, I well, think he was phase, uh, they've won all four maps. Oh, that, that was definitely on purpose right there. That was definitely, <laughs> on, purpose. <laughs> that was definitely on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> he, was, he was just letting them know what was up right was there. Was it an accident? Like... No, it was on purpose. Here's your round <laughs> any kill cam coming from Slacked. Finds Crim6 on top of the generator here as they open things up, winning their first defensive round. We'll see what they have in store for us on offense Switching as there are a variety sides. of strategies we could see on this map. I've seen some crazy strategies. I mean, I've seen four man just straight down the middle. Just rush, just just craziness, sheer craziness, and uh, I'm curious to see what FaZe are going to do now on the attacking side. It looks like they're actually yeah. heading towards the A bomb site. You're getting excited about it. Are we going to see it? Oh well, Replace is making his way towards B. They're they're going to delay it, which is direct. I, I right. like the delay push, but you need something like hardwired over here because if they throw an EMP to check, that's what most teams do. They'll throw that EMP, it'll go through walls. And it won't show up. They won't get a hit mark if you have hardwired on. But he's just going to run straight in here as his teammates made the opening kills. As Huddle picks up Aches and TP. It's going to be up to Complexity to try and make this rotation. Here you see replays on the flank. Oh, Great place from him. Set. He should be able to pick up one, maybe two in the middle here. As Krim, he's the last one alive. One before situation. He's going to get spotted and quickly dealt with here by Slack. Wow. As FaZe. Yeah, wow. They are looking really good. They are looking really, They're really good. They're some good looking <laughs> players, man. They they just dominated that round there of Sister Story. You know, if the A rush is one of those that can go terribly, terribly wrong if you if you don't do it right. Obviously, you brought up the the hardwired point. None Switching of them using it, but they still managed to get in, get control, get the bomb down, and Search pick and up the round without actually dropping a single player. And now it's going to be Complexity's turn on attack. I mean, they went to B last time. They got the bomb down, but unfortunately, just couldn't secure the bomb, the bomb once it had been planted. It looks like they're going to go for a similar push this time, Revan. Yeah, Aix, he's the player leading the charge. We'll see if they're able to make it work this time. Initial stuns will come out from Aix. Doesn't pick, oh, it does pick up one hit marker with his final stun. He's going to find this player on the stairs, and he's going to hop his way over there. It's going to be Huddle all the way in the back, but who's this on the generator? It's Spacely. He's dealt with by Crim6, but the sniper shot's coming in. Spacely, he's going to get taken out, so it's uh, still four on three here, but there's one player in the back. It's Huddle, and I believe he's the bomb with the sniper as the bomb gets planted. Bomb down. 40 seconds left now. What can FaZe do? As you said, three versus four situation. He needs to be a little bit more aggressive here. For my liking, has a sniper rifle out, misses the shot. Gonna get charged as well. Turns with the MSMC. Oh, oh my, that was almost a career under so many hit markers the there. But Aix does come out strong. Now it's gonna be left to slack. One versus four. Shuts down one. That's Crimson. Oh. Goes to the pre fire on Aix. But TP comes in, saves the day. And Complexity gonna get off the All market. Right, there you go, Complexity. You got a round in you now. <laughs> Keep winning a couple more of those, and you'll win yourselves a map. Well, I think you got to remember what happened in Express. You know, it was FaZe that yeah. came out strong on the first few rounds. Complacency came back, and then all Switching of a sudden, they just lost out in, in the final couple. So, realistically, this search and destroy could go any, any, either way. Both teams look really, really strong. It's just been FaZe that have just been dominating this pro scrim so far. Let's look at the scoreboard. So, so far, Slack is on top for FaZe. He's 3-1, and one, and he's really been 
really my player to watch from this phase squad. He's got a sniper in his back pocket. We'll see how he puts it to use as it looks like they're just going to be working picks as they're eventually going to make a push towards the B-bomb site. We see Spacely. I'm going to go on board with him. He's leading the charge. Well, let's have a look what his idea is going to be. One for B this oh, time, he's going to run into place. The place is going to get the pick. Meanwhile, Huddle's also got one. Crimson replies by showing down replays. Slack and Huddle are going to be left in a two versus three. 59 seconds left, so plenty of time. However, the bomb is down in a pretty awkward position, and you can see there is going to be one player. It's Huddle going around the flank. He's going to see one to Oh, no. Oh, that just happened. And his body's oh, getting oh, shot at, there. but Slack, he made happened. He was the player with a 1v3 clutch. No, that was actually TP. It was TP, TP yeah. with the 1v3 clutch. We'll see if Slack could pull one out of it. His bag of tricks here. He's got to get past Aches and Crim6, and he's got a sniper, so he's going to be trying to make these picks along the generator. It's Finds one here. Crim has a sniper of his own, but now he knows exactly where Slacked is. Slacked is going to be tough as he's also getting flanked here by Aches. Yeah, he's going to anticipate something along those lines, but as well, you have to remember, Revan, he has to pick up that bomb and has to go for the plant. In comes the pins, one from each side, nothing but him yeah. on the left, and there's Aches from that. behind, leveling it up. Two rounds apiece, smart plays. Really coming in there from complexity. Manages to just time that perfectly. You see X just spins around that corner and he's like, oh, there he is. Don't even worry about it. I'll take him out from behind. Hey, get off my bomb site, Slacked. <laughs> get off it. My bomb site. Bad. Switching and that's going to level things up point. two rounds apiece. But the question is here, I mean, who has the momentum so far in, I in think this story? definitely FaZe. I mean, they've won the past four maps. They're going to be yep. trying to keep on the aggression because keep in mind, replays, he has to go soon. So they're going to try to close this one out in fashion and complexity but that, that could affect them negatively though they could be oh like, yeah, yeah. True, true, true. we need to win like hurry up guys hurry hurry we need to win that, i mean that could go terribly terribly wrong replays opens things up with a grenade kill on to aches as complexity they're pushing to a it looks like slack was able to make a good trade there as now it's three on two favoring the phase squad and here we go replays finds one more can't pick up the seconds left all up to clayster here but he's got two kills to his name he's got to go past spacely and huddle his former teammates well, he's picked up the bomb, but Spacely from behind Get shuts down Clayster just round. before he was able to escape. You can see what Clayster was trying to do there. He, once he picked up that bomb, just went to rotate around. Spacely having absolutely none of it. Just catches a quick glimpse of him there. And his M8 shot just on That's all point. He needs, man. One burst. That's all he needs. But he doesn't need to. He can just do it all in one. And here we go. FaZe, they retake the lead in the search and destroy. Let's take a search quick glance destroy. at our scoreboard here. So 5-3 and three for Slack. 4-4 four and four for Defend Krim on top the of their respective teams. So... Let's flip through. Spacely's going to be carrying the bomb. Slacked. It looks like he's got a sniper in his back pocket again. I want to see if he's able to get this initial pick because it can mean so much in Search and Destroy. It's all about drawing that first blood. And you can see it phase. Meanwhile, heading over towards that B bomb site. All right. I'm going to switch over to Spacey. It looks like he's going to lead the charge. Just gets a glimpse of somebody at the back of the generator. It looks like it was either Clayster or Crimson. They're both rather on top of each other. But. Here we go, Aix making his way. It looks like he was spotted as Spacely picks up Clayster. But Crim6 responds with a follow-up kill as Aix is just being fairly aggressive in the middle of the map. Huddle, it looks like he's going to make moves of his own. Could come around TP here, but I don't think he's going to spot him. It is possible, though. It looks like Huddle might wind up just going for the flank here as Slack pushes up middle of the map. Replay is... He might be the one going for the bomb pickup. Huddle, he's about to find one. There's Aix, picks up the kill. So three on two favoring complexity. And here we go. I'm looking at the minimap. Looks like all the players from Complexity, they are rather spread out. So this is one thing working in FaZe's favor. They got to get past Crim6, though. He's kind of the first line of defense here. Now, they do not have the bomb in hand, which, you know, is going to work against them as time is winding down. There's only 10 seconds left. They haven't checked the platform. There we see replays picking up the kill. Slack, you got to go for the bomb plant, man. Is there going to be enough time? Oh, I don't think so. I do not think there's enough time. But anyway, see, he's going to go right next to the bomb site here. And as you saw, trying to go for the bomb plant, but it just runs round. out of time. Now 3-3, three, three, all tied up, Benson. Such a close game here yeah. on, on Social Destroy. Once again, another close game. It was close on Express, close on Meltdown. You can see exactly how Aix played under his girlfriend's game attack. Don't be confused. It is Aix. Switching it is Complexity's sides. fourth player. And 3-3, three, three. Revan, which way is this game going to go if you have to pull it? I mean, you know, it's really hard to tell right now. As you said, both teams just back and forth, back and forth, Clearly trading attractive. rounds. But still, I think the momentum lies in the phase's favor. But we're going to see what Complexity decides to do here. They might be gearing up for an A push or even a middle push at this as they are all stacked up. And phase, they have sent two players inside A, so this could help them out. They have replays in Slack ready to make a move. And it looks like Complexity, they are going to be trying to push into this A bomb site. First blood, they'll come from Clayster. 
Yeah, Clayster drawing that first blood. So, so important, giving them that one-man advantage. How can they make it count? Obviously, FaZe on the defensive side. They're going to have a rough idea where that bomb is going to go down. Yeah, Clayster putting in some shots. I believe that was slacked over near the middle of the map. Makes some moves, finds the kill, but Crim6 with the team kill. Oh, no, now it's all up to him. And a 1v2 I've, huddle and space leave. Unfortunate circumstances for complexity. I've just noticed. Have you seen what Huddle's using? What is he using? Ah, oh, he's using Jewel a thermal band. LMG. What's stop? Yep. Jewel band LMG. Yeah, that's a and legitimate strategy. But he's about to get challenged in his back here. Legit. He gets cleaned up. Crimson's making it a 1v1. Space Lee getting too far away from his teammate. But Crim, he is making his way towards this B bomb site. Has to go pick up the bomb. And only 20 seconds remaining. Space Lee, he's looking for him. And I think Krim, where's he going to go here? He has time to go B, and that's exactly where he's going to go. Spacey, just stay put, buddy. You'll find the kill eventually. Ten seconds now. He's got to go for the plant. Spacey is quite far away, and Krim6 should be able to get this bomb down. Well, Spacey's going to just let him. He's anticipating him not to get it down. Bomb goes down. Now, this is going to be a huge round. The winner of this is going to have so much momentum. Oh! oh! Krim6 runs straight to Spacey's red dot. Spacey goes big, picks up the kill, and he's going to get those extra points as well from the diffuse yeah so nice, really nice that team kill from crim6 we're completely working against complexity right there as he ultimately loses that round so four on three phase they retake the lead or four three round count here's how it happens basically gets the jump on crim6 and two bursts see you later crim gonna get the diffuse as well but now it's gonna be phase on offense we've seen both teams try to make an a push or are they gonna try it again well I'm going to have to wait and see. Wouldn't surprise me to see FaZe try and just mix it up a little bit. They obviously have that one round lead. Yeah. If they pick this up, it's going to be such an important round. That they really are going to have all the confidence to finish off this series with a shutout. Didn't think I'd be saying that, especially okay. not this way around. No offense to, to FaZe, obviously. They, they've shown that they are more than capable of, of fighting with the top teams in Call of Duty right now. Complexity arguably the best team in COD, and they're being shut out right now. Yeah, Aix on the flank early on in the round. Could make plays happen, but right now it's all Crim6. Pick up the first two kills. Make it three. And Crim, oh, he, he, I think he was a little upset about that last round, so he just went robot <laughs> mode and picked up all four kills. We might even see all four of them in this. Oh, actually, Clayster at the end yeah, there. Clayster stole it right at the very end. You can see Crim6 just flying through the air. He was just like, yep, yeah, you're dead. I'll put some bullets into you as Come well. Come on, Clayster, you stole Crim's four-piece. But Switching Crim, he ready. goes off, picks up three kills as complexity. They tie it back up. Well, 4-4 four, four now. Complexity back on the attacking side. The and are we going to see them go for an A push? Charge That's the, the question. Fire. Well, Bomb Carrier is going straight down the middle of the map. And this could be what I was talking about earlier on. That mm. four-man mid-push straight underneath and straight into the enemy spot. Oh, it is. That's it. what they're going for. That's exactly what they're going for right now, Revan. Stuns what go out. I, I think FaZe, they know that the players are situated over near the middle of the map, but they don't know that they're doing this. And look, look it's going to be rough for Slack here. He's about to get pinched in the butt. <laughs> from all three players. Yeah. A Aix is going to uh, get the kill there on Slack. Bomb should go down. But in come Crimzix. He's going to shut down Huddle. Oh. Looking good for FaZe. Yeah, Aix ran right place, replays, replays. Eventually gets cleaned up. It's all up to Spacely. 1v3. Great round for Complexity so far. But they got to get past Spacely here. And they do just that. So now 5-4. Complexity. Can they win their first map here, Benson? Well, it's looking good. Just one round away. This is the closest they've been so far. You see exactly how TP managed to win that round there for Complexity, shutting down Spacey. Now, a crazy, crazy rush there mm. from, from uh, Complexity, let's be honest. Four man straight yeah. down the middle of the map, three cycling all the way back into that A-bomb, getting that bomb down. Boy. Now the question is, what do FaZe do? Because they're on the attacking side, they need to win this round, otherwise Complexity are going to win their first map of the series. Are we going to see them do something crazy in it? A little bit a. reckless, or are they going to play this safe? I like how they're going A here, because Krim last round just completely shut them down at B. So they're going to be doing what they did their first offense. Kind of this little delayed A push. We'll see if it has that success. Remember, Huddle, he got the initial two kills, and it looks like he might do the same thing as he's pushing right through the middle. He's going to find one player near his ladder. He's going to take some shots, immediately back it off. That's going to force a rotation from the rest of the complexity players. Replays, oh, he finds one middle, but there are players around the oh, generator's oh. area. First blood coming in from... TP, Krim follows up with a kill of his own as Krim, he's on a five kill spree. It's left up to replays and slack from FaZe. Krimzik's just turned on that beast mode button and there's really not oh. much that fell. Oh, I say that. Slack shuts down TP, but in goes Aix. He's going to shut down Slack. Now it's replays. One versus two. The problem he has is he has to take down Krimzik. He's right now 
I think he's a bit annoyed because he just really this, has to This is to his chance up. to make a move because the RC car, that's going to not allow Krim to be mobile around the map as he's going to remote detonate it, replays. He's going to make a move for this bomb. It's in the A bomb site. He got past. He's dead. Oh, no. He's dead. Uh, he might be How's dead. He Ace dead? didn't see him. Oh, he's coming up behind Krim. Oh, no. God. He looked the wrong way. Oh, he's lost him. Oh, no. Oh, oh he found him again. Oh, no. He's had a nightmare and he's going to challenge oh. and Krim Zix is going to say. Challenge me, bro. See what happens. Yeah. He's going to take down replays. Almost. And finally. Mm -hmm. They finally won a map, Evan. right? Complex here off the mark. Yeah. Well, I like it. Replays almost making some plays happen right there. But keep in mind, the next map is going to be the last one we're going to have a chance to play in this Pro Scrim series. So either way, race. phase, you know, they're, they're in good position right now. They're up 4-1 to one in map count. And take a look at our final scoreboard, Krim, 12 and 6. Great plays from Complexity as they put their first map on the board. So we're going to go to a quick break. And when we return, the last map of our pro screens between FaZe and Complexity.